Hello everyone, I'm KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. Today, I want to show you how to prepare Masaman Curry. Masaman Curry is a rich curry famous in the southern region of Thailand. Masaman Curry has a signature sour note derived from tamarind pulp and it is not spicy as many other Indian curries. Interested to know how to make it? Let's take a look. If you want to get the recipe and the quantity of each ingredient, please follow the link in the description right below the video. Pour half of the coconut milk into a pan. Simmer the coconut milk over low heat until it thickens and the coconut oil starts to separate from the water phase. When it heats up, the oil and water will start to separate into two layers. When we reduce the amount further until mostly the oil is left behind, add the masaman curry paste and saute it until it turns aromatic. You will notice the coconut oil is bubbling at the edge of the curry paste. And when that happens, proceed to add the chicken. Now you can add the remaining coconut milk and braise the chicken. Add some water if there's not enough coconut milk to submerge the chicken fully for braising. I suggest you use a store-bought curry paste to prepare a small portion of the curry, not what I'm doing today. It is not practical to make it from scratch since you need more than 10 different herbs and spices to make this curry paste. Braise the chicken for 15 minutes and then add the potatoes and the onions continue for another 20 minutes. By doing this, the chicken, the potatoes and the onions will cook to the right level at the same time. Since the water will be reduced gradually during braising, you may need to add some water to keep the chicken and potatoes submerged in the water. You can now add the remaining spices and seasoning while braising the chicken. Add a cardamom, cinnamon stick, bay leaves to simmer with the chicken. Now I want to add a few less commonly used items in non-Asian recipe, which I would like to explain further. The first one, tamarind juice. I've placed some tamarind pulp in hot water. Let it sit for 10 minutes to let the flavor diffuse into the water. Discard the pulp and seeds and only use the tamarind water. Palm sugar. Palm sugar has a unique aroma. If palm sugar is not available, you can use brown sugar to adjust the sweetness. Fish sauce. Fish sauce is salty. So there's no need to include salt in this recipe. The balance of sweetness, sourness and saltiness will create the unique flavor of masamam curry. When the chicken and potatoes have become soft, add the roasted peanuts to the curry. The peanuts will remain crunchy when served. You can add the peanuts together with the potatoes if you prefer soft peanuts. Lastly, before you serve, do a taste test. Adjust the saltiness, sourness and sweetness at the end of the cooking process to get the right taste. Check also whether the thickness of the gravy is what you want. You can reduce the gravy if it is too diluted. Mm. I prefer to add a little bit more of fish sauce. Add 
and a large teaspoon of curry paste a light strong curry now you look at the curry from the other angle it's very appetizing remove and serve this is how I prepare Masaman curry I hope you enjoy watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscription button. Until the next video, I'll see you again. I'm Katie Kwan. Bye for now.